Alright, let me shut off the radio here. Well, uh, another successful cut. Um, these are going to be uh, clamps. Put a hole through the top here and it'll go down to all the different threaded inserts that I have in my uh, table. Over here you can see I've got a little one gallon vacuum that uh, drives the uh, sucking power and then here I have a Thane dust separator that allows me to separate the big particles and it all falls in a big five gallon bucket really fine particles I'll end up in there I won't have to empty that out very often uh, dust collection is kinda working uh, you can notice that it's still throwing a bit of dust but it's certainly not getting in the air it's staying kinda just sitting on the table that's easy to clean up the edges of the cuts are pretty crisp pretty happy about that it's not tearing up the wood what I had to do to strengthen this um, the router mount which in my previous post you saw that I had some wobble let's see if you can see him there yep right here you can see a stack of washers and what I had to do is I had to put three um, pretty large Actually, I think they're inch-long, quarter-inch threaded uh, bolts into the uh, aluminum block that surrounds the uh, ball screw. So it's it's certainly solid now. Um, no wiggle, at least not from the mount's point of view. Uh, still got to get my end stops actually working because right here they're just kind of just kind of hanging out on on my y-axis. But, um, certainly working. Dust collection's somewhat doing its job. The accuracy of cuts greatly improved with the strengthening of the mount. And now I'm making parts to make this thing better, um, as we do with everything. You did see my kind of homemade dust boot, or dust shoe, out of a two liter pot bottle with a bunch of frayed edges. Uh, it's not a bad design, uh, but I think I need to cut them up a little higher so that if I have to go through thicker material uh, It won't start really scraping across the top and uh, Just lastly I need to start picking better uh, boards. This one is a bit warped. So uh, The very first pass it was either cutting too little or too much Depending uh, on the arc of the board and you can see that there that uh, got some gappage but um, I did get the uh, the Z calibration plate or zero C zero um, plate working looks like this uh, pretty straightforward I plug it into uh, this little butt terminal and then I run a command on uh, Mach 3 and then what it'll do is it'll slowly raise the um, the router down until the bit touches. Uh, it is a script that you have to write and then program it into the auto tool zero. This one right here. Um, you can find that online pretty easily. That's how I found this. But once that works and you go into art cam and specify zero is from the bottom of the board instead of the top. Um, I'm no longer chewing up my sacrificial board so much. I mean, there's next to nothing in here. Actually, there's a little left over, so maybe I will go down, you know, a tenth of a or a hundredth of an inch or something like that, just to uh, ever so slightly cut into the sacrificial board, but uh, leave a nice sharp cut on the work pieces. But uh, she's working good now, and I guess the next step is really to um, figure out what the feed rates can be for the different materials with the different bits because I've started collecting a few bits got some different things in here probably make a bit holder but uh, yep that uh, there she goes she's working so that's good 
I think in the next couple weeks I'm going to have a very, very large foam project to do on this. Um, making a huge frame or a gilded frame in large scale for a theater. So uh, it's good to make sure this thing's working now so that I have some time to really get it dialed in for them. Anyway, signing off for now. Bye-bye.